My name is Callie Crampton. I am the head of the Kauai Forest Bird Recovery Project. I am part of an Island Invaders Symposium put together by our colleague Erin Shields. My talk particularly focused on how we are using camera trapping and artificial intelligence to better understand how good nature traps work in our forest setting, how to make them more efficient at killing the target species rats, and how to avoid any bycatch of non-target species. So for us, the promise of AI is that the computer can discard or set aside all the photos you're not interested in, the empty frames or the frames that don't have your animal of interest in it, and we can spend the time in front of the computer really focusing in on the frames that do have rats, showing us how we can better improve our trap sets. This is really the sphere of my collaborator, Mary Reeves, but she has been using deep neural networks to train the computer to focus in on the species of interest. So in our case, actually, we're not just classifying rat interactions, but we're also looking for bird interactions and cat interactions and pig interactions. And using the information that it gets from that to uh, train the system to focus in on those species and then you tell the system, oh, here's all the errors you made, and you refeed the stream through, and it learns from its errors and becomes smarter and smarter as you go along until it can't reduce the error it makes any further. Currently, we run slightly more than 300 traps in the field across two different field sites. These are sites that have high densities of very endangered songbirds. The one in particular that we're striving to protect is called the Puaiohi, or small Kauai thrush. It's found only on Kauai, nowhere else in the world. And it is particularly vulnerable to rat predation when it's nesting. So in this case, the rats would not just attack the eggs and the chicks in the nest, but they actually also kill the female, removing all her reproductive potential. And we think these traps can be instrumental in driving down rat numbers to reduce predation on that species and some other critically endangered songbirds that nest in the forests of Kauai. The songbirds of Kauai are found only on Kauai and nowhere else in the world. If we don't protect them there, there's six endemic species to Kauai. If we don't protect them there, we can't protect them anywhere. And they perform ecosystem functions that allow our forests to flourish. And without forests, we have no flood control and water management on Kauai, the rain that, the copious amounts of rain that hit the Hawaiian Islands would just fall on bare slopes, causing huge landslides to cascade down to the areas where all of us live. We would have no drinking water, we would have enormous ocean siltation problems, so no reefs. So this is just really holding together the economic underpinnings of the Hawaiian Islands that allow us to have the industry and the a tourist business that, that we have. And that's another note to think about. People come to Hawaii just to see these birds because they cannot be seen anywhere else in the world. So they're also a growing component of Hawaii's economy, especially in the tourist sector. Finally, I just really think that it's our, our moral obligation. We put these birds in a pickle by introducing all these non-native species to the Hawaiian islands to which our birds have no defenses. And so because we put them in the pickle, it's our responsibility to get them out of that mess and our responsibility to do everything we can to save them so that our children and your children and our grandchildren can enjoy them. And, and so we protect this really important part of Hawaii's culture and, and its ecosystems. For me, the amazing thing about this conference has been the opportunity to meet with people from all over the world and all across the US and Canada and talk and share ideas about pest control and really focus in on one topic and not be distracted by a bunch of different topics. But the other really great thing about this conference is that it's connecting researchers and practitioners so that researchers are doing research that's relevant to practitioners and practitioners are making their needs known to researchers. But practitioners also are understanding what goes behind the products that, and the tools that they end up using and, and understand better why the tools are developed the way they are. The Kauai Forest Bird Recovery Project has a website, Kauai Forest Birds with an S, dot org, Kauai Forest Birds dot, dot org. We also have a really active presence on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.